Hi there, welcome to episode 3 of the She-Wolf series. There are more episodes on my channel and other series as well, and if you're after more adult content, I have a link to my Patreon down below. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you, and as always, I hope you enjoy. Hey! Hey, Jesus! There you are. You know when I said the other day you should try running away, I didn't actually mean it. Are you okay? No, you don't look okay. You shouldn't be in the woods alone. You've messed up your leg. Okay, it's just a scratch. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, don't throw a stick at me. I've come to find you. That's why I'm here. Don't get mad at me. I was the one saying to let you go back home, but... It turns out I haven't been told the whole truth either. Some other packs that we're not friendly with have learned that I'm paired with a human and have decided to use that as a point of weakness. It means that they're on the lookout for you. So you really shouldn't be in the woods alone. Don't worry, your family will be fine. They have people taking care of them. From the shadows, but still. Oh no, everybody got a verbal lashing from me, don't worry. Especially Grandfather. There will be no more keeping information from me. And extension you. Well, I'm going to let you know if you're in danger. I'm not going to baby you. And you're not completely stupid. If you'd known other packs had a bounty out for you, then I doubt you would have tried running away. Yeah, well. No, I don't want to go back to the house either. You're still on our land, it's fine, but... You were getting really close to the border. How did I do what? How did I find you? I'll always find you. I can't turn it off. There's like a chain between you and me. I knew you were gone before anyone told me. I knew which direction you'd walked. Do you feel me? Only a little. Yeah, well, you are human, so. But it took effort to leave. Hmm. That's interesting, I guess. So can I look at your leg? I know the whole werewolf thing is very overwhelming, but tetanus still exists. Yeah, it's a scratch. A big one, but wash it out and put a bandage on and you'll be fine. You won't need any stitches or anything. Mm. I know you want to go home, but you won't be safe there. What? I can be nice to you. Anyway, I've used up all my anger points by yelling at the rest of the pack. And I mean, to be fair, I was very nice to you the other day, so I don't know why you're surprised. You enjoyed yourself, didn't you? <clears throat> well, I didn't come back again because, I don't know. There's a pattern where things will actually be going well and when I finally loosen up a little then it all goes wrong again. 
something always goes wrong. And if I let myself pair with you, properly be mated, and I stop fighting it, then if something went wrong, well, I think that would be the final straw for me. <laughs> Was it really that hard for you to try and leave? You had to argue with yourself, huh? I don't know, you seem to hate me a whole lot too. Hmm. Yeah, it's not one-sided, is it? But I still think studying fashion is stupid. I don't know, I get my clothes from the store. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> my entire personality is based on being a grumpy bitch. So you're right, you're right. Congratulations, but keep it to yourself or I'll have nothing to be shitty about. I told you not to laugh at me. Yeah, laughing, smiling, same difference, whatever. So, like, did you? Did you like what we did the other day? Part of the reason I started avoiding you again was because I was getting too close and I didn't want to be close to you, but also I was maybe kind of worried I'd been too rough with you. Are you sure? Because I really wasn't gentle. <laughs> hmm. You're right. You were disappointed I didn't come back. If we do this again, then I don't think that there'll be any turning back for us. We won't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll actually have to learn to like each other. Yeah, I still want to as well. You were very obedient after all. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you'd never done that sort of thing before. No, I'm... I'm not being a bitch. It's just an observation. And if it makes you feel better, you're a fast learner. But I learned things about you too. You like it when I do this? Hold your chin with my thumb on your lips. And you like being praised. You like being called a good girl. I can protect you, you know. Is that what you want? To be protected? And that can make you feel good. Do you want me to make you feel good? Do you want to follow instructions? <laughs> Sorry, I haven't gotten to play with someone like this in a while. I haven't had the opportunity to be properly dominant. Oh, I'll have to give you some homework because you know that's what this is, right? How you and I interact. I'm dominant. You're submissive. I make the rules. And you follow them. You want to follow them? Alright then, so if I were to tell you to take your shirt off, what would you do? Good. And if I were to put my thumb in your mouth? Good. I do like your mouth. Hmm. 
take your bra off. Give it to me. It's mine now. You can have it back when I say so. See, you're a sub through and through. Look how excited you are now. Hmm. What else can we do? Did you like being restrained the other day? Well, I'm sure I can manage that. And I showed you some of my toys, but you certainly didn't see all of them. Would you like to play with some more? Would you like that, baby girl? So what if I tied you down on the bed face first and had my way with you from behind? You'd get some nice surprises. Then you could scream as much as you wanted into the pillows. Neo, are you telling the truth? I know how I can check if you really want it. If I pull up your skirt and put my hand... Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, you do want that, don't you? Well... Put your shirt back on. No, you don't get your bra back yet. Just your shirt. We'll go back to the house. Clean up your leg. Then we'll continue this discussion. <laughs>